it's me, DB, from All Things Brass and Technology. This is storytelling. Okay, so check this out. I want to talk about the great Freddie Hubbard. Okay, so I believe the year was 1987. I was at Berkeley, student, maybe 1988. And Freddie... Uh, was playing at the Regatta Bar in Boston. So I said, man, I want to go check that out. So I went and I got a table and I ordered a Coca-Cola or something, a soda. So it was quartet that night and the band came out, the trio came out and they did a song out front. So I'm checking, you know, the band out and, uh, I don't know, I I saw a girl sitting at a table alone across from me and our eyes just locked. (laughs) So, you know, it seemed like we were into each other and we were just checking each other out. So I was listening, but also, you know, vibing with this girl at the table. So the band was cooking, they were doing their thing, the trio. And, but I was a little distracted right so um you know they finished their first song and they started like vamping on a you know medium straight eights song and i could hear maybe you know this might be my little sunflower my little sunflower you know famous freddie Hubbard song but i looked at the stage and i didn't see freddie so they were just vamping and i'm still distracted because i'm vibing with this girl right And then check out what happened. Freddie came on stage, but I didn't know because I was distracted. And all I heard was Freddie play one note on top of the vamp. And look what happened. Check out what happened. It felt like my chair started floating up and moving around and I was so freaked out I kind of pressed my hands down on the table to ground myself because I felt I was you know floating it was crazy and the drink fell over and then I was startled and then when I came out of it all I could hear was this gorgeous gorgeous sound coming from Freddie Hubbard's flugelhorn. It was astonishing. Now, you know, people may see this video and say, "Ah, (laughs) yeah, he was probably high. Listen, I don't don't really do drugs. I don't, you know, I don't mess with that. You know, no disrespect to people that do. But, you know, hey. So, no, that wasn't it. It was his tone that sounded so heavenly it felt like I was floating and it it astonished me and I classify that experience as a trumpet moment yes times in my life when I hear a trumpet player performing live and my mind is blown That was Freddie Hubbard, the great, the fearless Freddie Hubbard, live at the Regatta Bar, and I believe it was 1988. What an experience. It was it was a fantastic night. You know, after that, they went into, you know, his discography, and it was just amazing, man. Mind-blowing. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, in regards to the girl that I was vibing with, she went her way and I went my way. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was a beautiful night. It was a beautiful night. Yo, this is DB storytelling for all things brass and technology. See you soon.